Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to explain uh, how the DC biasing is done uh, for a defensive amplifier. Uh, for a defensive amplifier like this, uh, we need to make sure uh, V V V is always positive, and this is the criteria of DC biasing. Uh, this means V C has to be bigger than V B. And according to the circuits here, uh, we have V C being equal to V V not one V O one. Uh, to begin with, we need to know uh, what is the total current in a particular branch. Now, let's uh, before going forward, right? Let's um, let's have shown uh, the total current which contain the DC current as well as the small signal current. The DC currents are uh, on the left branch is I divided by two and same go for the right branch. And um, uh, the total colon IC1 contain two columns. One is the last signal column IC and the other one is the small signal column uh, this little I and then C and what is IC according to what uh, according to this circuit diagram IC is equal to I divided by 2 and what is uh, this little IC here uh, this little IC is equal to uh, uh, um, a uh, GM uh, and then times the voltage value here, uh, depending on the uh, on the big point here. And we we have shown the virtual ground here is at zero voltage. Then, uh, uh, it is going to be uh, uh, V1, uh, Vd, divided by 2. Uh, so this is the small signal curve for IC. And Vd is the defensive input voltage. Uh, maybe I should say VID yeah, because in, in some other video I have, I have actually used VID. Uh, this is going to be V1 minus V2. Now um, let's say uh, we are going to apply uh, VID is equal to uh, uh, VP sine omega t here. We are going to uh, actual this condition. Uh, and if it is the case, right, then we can quickly find out uh, VP uh, uh, um, yeah let's continue with this analysis and this is equation one from one we have IC1 palm IC1 palm is the total current which include a small signal current and large signal current IC 
C. And according to equation one, it is equal to R. I, capital letter I divided by two. Yeah, you can see it here. And TM, and what is TM? TM is uh, I C divided by VT. Uh, uh, perhaps I should use TM1. Uh, and uh, I see one here is uh, is I divided by two. So we have to substitute I divided by uh, two B uh, divided by two B T B of T into this equation in order to find the uh, I C one. And now let's do it up. So this one become uh, I divided by two B T, and then. So this one is going to be, uh, uh, anyway, uh, you can simplify the equation. I divided by two, and then one plus V I D divided by two. And uh, V I D is the dimensional voltage. And uh, in order to determine the bias and condition. We have to assume the extreme case. So what is the extreme case? The extreme case is one of those, right? Uh, instead of having uh, this being equal to Vt minus divided by 2, and this one uh, is, which is equal to Vt divided by 2, and this is not going to be a extreme case. The extreme case is to have shown uh, one part of the circuit being completely zero. And another part is BT. So in other words, uh, we can just say uh, in this circuit, as far as this circuit is concerned, and we are we are not dealing with the less bound tuning. Uh, according to here, uh, we can just substitute the equation here. So it is going to be uh, uh, the total IC is going to be I divided by two one plus V P sine omega t. Uh, and then uh, divided by uh, let me see. I think uh, we have got something wrong here. Uh, it should be vt as well. 2vt. Uh, then we are going to continue. Right? So we have 2VT here. And now, uh, the next thing is to determine VC. And what is VC? VC, in this case, is uh, VCC minus uh, the total current times RC. You have to use the total column. You cannot just use the this uh, DC column. You have to allow some extreme case. We have to assume the small signal is significant as compared with the, the DC bias in column. And that's why we, we have to act, uh, use this uh, scenario to work out the biased condition. 
And now we are VCC minus the IC quantum RC. Uh, or we can just uh, say uh, VCC minus uh, RC. And then the, the whole expression here, which is I uh, divided by 2. And then uh, 1 plus VP sine omega t. 2 omega t. And uh, the purpose of biasing is to make sure uh, Bc is, has to be quicker than Vp. And in this case, you may just have shown uh, it is Vb, and what is Vb? Uh, according to here, Vb is just equal to Vt. And what is Vb? Oh, sorry, Vit. Vit. And what is Vit? The idea is just this expression. So now uh, the next thing that we are going to do is to simplify this expression. And we are going to, to allow an extreme value. Right now, I believe you don't need this circuit diagram. So we are going to erase this circuit diagram and free up some space. The, uh, say this is equation uh, two. And uh, Vp sine omega t has two extreme value. Has two extreme value. It can be either positive VP or minus VP. So we have to use the extreme value and substitute the extreme value there to get the safest bias point. And uh, from two, if the extreme Values are used. Then uh, we have uh, the VC VC is equal to VCC minus RCI divided by two. One plus, um, actually, right, um, we do, we, we, can, we, can do, we can do some rearrangement for this equation first. Uh, right now, we can still assume this is a VID. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, let, let's say like uh, V I D, yeah, because we don't have enough space here. And this one has to be equal, bigger than V I D. Uh, I think this is the easiest way to resolve the question. So with some rearrangement, uh, we can say uh, I is smaller than uh, VCC minus VID and 2 divided by uh, RC 
uh, and then one plus VIE uh, divided by two VT. So uh, this is the final formula. Uh, in order to satisfy the equation, then the I has to satisfy this equation. And now we are going to substitute the extreme value for this uh, expression. As I told you, we are VID, which is the uh, input voltage, the differential input voltage to the differential pair. It can be uh, uh, the extreme value to this extent, uh, uh, the extreme value uh, plus VP or minus VP. So in this case, uh, we can just say uh, I minimum is equal to uh, the either two expression. So two VCC minus VP. In this case, we have shown the uh, extreme value, positive VP. Or, uh, in another extreme case, VCC. I'm oh, sorry, I should say like I maximum. Uh, I maximum is equal to minimum of these two values. So uh, this is the final formula to be used to determine the, the maximum bias current for the differential pair. And uh, if you if your the, the current source exceeds this value, then the amplifier is not going to work. So if you have any questions, please leave your questions to the comments box. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, this is the final formula for DC bias. Okay, so